Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I am a style and mindset coach and I can help you go from a place where you are stuck and overwhelmed and frustrated with your wardrobe to a place where you absolutely love getting dressed. I do that work one-on-one -on -one with women, both online and in person. Style therapy is the package. All the details are linked below. There is also a link for my calendar so that if you would like to hop on a consult call to see if style therapy can help you get out of your style struggles, I would be happy to do that. Just click that link and find a day that works for you and we'll hop on a call and go from there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about coats. Now, I will first say that I have not ever been someone who loves coats because I am not someone who loves cold weather. On the contrary, I'm someone who loves warm, sunny days, and uh, I, I like crisp, sunny days also. I just don't really love cold. And that said, some of that has shifted for me in the last nine years since we moved to Colorado. When I lived on the East Coast of the United States, it was much um, colder and drearier and more damp and rainy and kind of bone chilling than it is here in Colorado. There is something to be said about a drier cold and how that feels, at least on my body. Uh, and so moving to Colorado has made me realize that I actually don't hate winter when it's sunny and crisp and dry. And when I can wear coats and clothing through the winter that I actually love instead of having to be bundled head to toe in waterproof clothing that maybe doesn't feel as chic or stylish or elegant as I would like to look. Uh, it's kind of like the, I equate it sort of to the trick-or-treating situation if you were a kid and went out for Halloween where it is cold. Oftentimes this beautiful idea that you had of the ballerina or the bride or the mermaid is quickly shut down by the fact that your parents are insisting that you wear snow pants underneath whatever the outfit is or boots instead of the pretty little ballet flats uh, or you know your winter coat over top of the whole thing so i i don't like the idea of taking a great outfit and then having outerwear that goes over it that kind of dashes the whole look and brings the whole thing down and for many many years that's how i did it because i really didn't like winter i didn't want to invest the money in a coat and i just sort of ignored the whole thing and, and prayed for spring and now that I live in a climate where it really is fun to get dressed for winter because yes, it can be bitter cold, but it's usually sunny and it's usually dry. And if it's snowing, it is sort of that Hollywood fluffy, flaky, fun snow. And so I'm a little spoiled now. You can tell that it, it's a little more fun for me here in winter than it was on the East Coast. So recently I've realized that I didn't really have any coats that were working. I was wearing uh, a black puffer jacket that had been a free gift from a cycling company that my husband had done some work with and they sent me a gift because I helped with something and that has really been my winter coat and I have put it over way too many outfits and it has not looked nice and I finally decided about a year and a half ago that it was time to start upping my coat game and my outerwear game and create a bit of a capsule in that area. And so one of the first things I purchased was this sort of cream colored fuzzy one. And I will try that on. I'm gonna try all of them on and kind of talk through them. But this was one of the first ones. Ironically, I went from this very practical black puffer jacket to this very impractical, um, not really functional for everyday life, seldom worn, but still a favorite uh, jacket uh, from Forever 21, actually. So, all right, I will mention that, let's see. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are thrifted. So that's how many? Five I have thrifted in the last year. And when I thrift, I'm talking like under $20. I do not spend a ton of money on thrifted items. I think this one might've been the most expensive. This one I purchased uh, at a consignment shop, not at a thrift shop. So it was a little bit more expensive and it's J. Jill and I love it. I love the color, I love the way it fits. Uh, but when I thrift, I, I mean, people get rid of coats all the time. So if you are wanting a winter coat, a really good place to start is a thrift shop because there are often just really great deals. So without further ado, I'm just going to go through them, kind of talk about what made me purchase them and give you a little more information uh, on my winter coat capsule or on my coat capsule kind of fall, winter, spring. So this one is Land's End and I thrifted it and it is knit and quilted and it feels like a sweatshirt <laughs> and I actually really love it. I, I think I've worn it once since I thrifted it at the end of the spring. Uh, it buttons up the front, it has this cute little kind of funnel neck that ties 
and this little detail on the sleeve with a second button where I could roll it up and button it higher. I'm not sure I would ever do that, but it's just a nice little, what I would consider an errand coat, which is sort of an inside joke in our family. Um, and so this would do it. it. It truly, I could sleep on an airplane in it if it is that soft and that comfortable. And so this one was, you know, only a few dollars and it washed beautifully. Land's End, it's a great brand, you know, that will hold up. It's navy blue. So I'm, I'm glad I purchased this one and I'm looking forward to some crisp fall days when I can wear that. This next one is Theory. This is the oldest of the bunch. I purchased this when we still lived in Pennsylvania because there's a lot of rain. One of the coolest things about this jacket, well, first I love the color. This is a popular color in my wardrobe. And uh, the thing I love about this jacket also is that it has a zipper, um, zippered in hood on the back. So that's been nice when I have been in situations where it is really bucketing rain and I wanna unzip. I'm not a huge umbrella fan because I always feel like I'm poking somebody and or forgetting the umbrella and leaving it wherever I was last. So the zippered um, hood compartment is nice. So, and this packs really well. It literally will fit into a gallon Ziploc bag if I choose to pack it and want to have it at the ready, you know, kind of all in one contained spot. Um, and I, I just have liked this one a lot. It's, it goes over, you know, I can put a blazer underneath it. I can put a chunky sweater underneath it. Uh, it, it fits the bill of a trench coat. When I put a trench coat on, I just do not feel authentic. I love, love, love trench coats on other women. When I put them on, I've even owned a trench coat in this kind of olive green color. It still didn't work for me. I just, it felt too formal and fussy and not authentic. And so I'm envious of women who wear trench coats and love them and look amazing in them. They just don't feel authentic for me. So this has been a nice alternative to a trench because it is waterproof. It packs really well so I can take it when I travel. And uh, it's theory, so it's a great brand and I just really like it. And there's no reason to replace it, you know, even though it's starting to show some wear, I've washed it and I've probably um, not taken the best care of it, but it doesn't rain that much in Colorado. So I don't often have need for an actual raincoat over a different kind of coat. So this one works for me. This next one I bought at Costco uh, last year. It has an attached hood, it doesn't come off. Um, and I bought it because my husband and I walk in the evening. And so this one sort of fit the bill. It was, I think, $19. I like the color. It's certainly not chic. It is, you know, pretty dorky in some ways. Um, but it actually is super functional. It's warm when I walk and it's lightweight. Uh, I can, you know, run to the store in it. I can fit a sweater underneath it. it it's just, it didn't feel as chic as I really wanted for like, you know, to wear in my real life when I'm a little more dressed but for walking around the block in, you know, kind of stretchy pants and a sweatshirt, it was perfect. This next one, you may have seen a video on this one. I have made a video about this. This is a uh, thrifted piece. It was $5. Uh, I then spent a little over a hundred to have it altered so that it fits me. It is fully lined and reversible. It's fully lined in silk and the outside is hundred percent cashmere. So I am, just, I love this coat. I love it because it is super lightweight. I love it because it fits over a blazer. It fits over a chunky sweater. I can wear it with sneakers and jeans, or I can dress it up and wear it, you know, if I'm going out in the evening. Uh, it is just, did I mention it's lightweight, which for me is kind of a deal breaker if a coat is too heavy. And sometimes wool coats for winter just are way too heavy on my shoulders. And I just want to take them off and I get in the car and I don't want to be driving in it because it just feels like it's weighing me down. This, I don't feel that way at all. So it was well worth uh, the investment of paying to have it altered because it was several sizes too big and I am thrilled with it. I have not worn it on the reverse yet with just the silk side. Hopefully I have an occasion that is a little dressier where I can reverse it and show off that side of it. Uh, but this has been just a really great coat. The brand is Cirrus Cashmere, which uh, I think has been around a long time. I don't know if this qualifies as vintage. I'm not sure exactly how old this is, but I'm thrilled with it. This next one, as I said, is uh, also purchased secondhand. This one is J. Jill. I wanted a puffer coat that was a fun color because when it gets to be March and April and it is still cold and maybe snowing here, I like to have a burst of color. Not that I'm not wearing this in the winter or in the fall because I am, but when I purchased it, it was the end of the season and I really was ready for something a little fresher and brighter. And so this one snaps off um, center, kind of asymmetrically, not asymmetrically, but snaps off center and uh, has pockets that are real fuzzy and fleece lined. 
It's lightweight, it washes really well. I just think this one is a little, um, has a little more style and a little more interest than this one, which just feels a little more um, utilitarian and sporty, I guess, which is not usually my vibe. So I like this one that has a little more style. And then this next one, I actually purchased, um, this is Orle, which is, um, I believe a Japanese brand that is considered the Amazon coat because some women on the Upper West Side, Upper East Side, I don't honestly remember, of New York City, made this coat famous one winter, maybe five years ago. If you Google it, you will find more information than you could possibly want. Uh, and I wanted a winter coat and was ready to invest. It was before I found this one or this one or uh, even this one. And I purchased it online and from Amazon and I got it and I didn't love it. And it was about $150 and I thought, I like this coat, but I don't love it the way I want to love a coat. And I want to love a coat for $150. I, I really wasn't sure that it was as fabulous as everyone had said. And I felt like I was kind of being influenced and had purchased it because everyone else was talking about it. So I sent it back. And then the end of last spring, I was thrifting and I found it for $3.99. And I think it might even have been 50% off that day. So I purchased it again, same exact size, same exact color. I actually think it's fun. And while I don't believe in buying things because they're on sale, I live in Colorado. I live in a state where it's cold. I really like the coat. I just wasn't willing to part with $150. And I know that sometimes I say, uh, you know, would you buy full, would you pay full price? Would you actually invest the full price and pay attention to not buying it just because it's on sale? In this case, because it was under $5, I really kind of, made the decision to purchase it anyway, even though I was breaking kind of those rules. I just think it has cool detail. The side unzips with a little gusset if you want. It's got this kind of fun flappy stuff in the back um, and this great hood that, you know, is just, I don't know. It feels a little stylish and it feels a little more interesting than your basic puffer jacket. And it's comfortable and I'm looking forward to wearing it this winter and seeing how I feel in it. Uh, because I liked it when I sent the other one back. I just wasn't ready to invest that much money in it. And this one I didn't have to. So I'm kind of feeling like the universe is saying you should have that coat in your wardrobe. This next one is not one that I would ever have purchased full price just because I wouldn't have thought I needed it. I mean, this is a lot of coats and I'm, I realized it as I was hanging them up today. Uh, it's a lot of coats. And I live in a place where it's cold for a long time. and. I'm a stylist and so I'm giving myself uh, the opportunity to wear all these coats and see how it goes this year. This one is, it feels like shearling, looks like shearling, but it is completely washable and man-made. It is not actually leather um, or suede or shearling. Uh, and it too was, you know, under $10. It might've been 12 and it washed really well. It had a little bit of um, kind of gunk on it when I got it. And I thought, I think that's just gonna wash right out. So I'm gonna give it, give it a try. It's really comfortable. It's not too heavy. It feels, you know, like transitional from fall into winter. It's soft to touch. Uh, I, I didn't wear this much last year because once I purchased this one and had it altered, I wore this one more often. But even just putting this on and feeling how good it feels, I am going to wear this this season and I'm glad that I have it. And I like that it's machine washable. I like that it is not, uh, I have nothing against shearling if that's what you choose. I just like that this one, um, is actually man-made and washable and really, really soft. This next one came from Forever 21 several years ago, probably four or five, five years ago maybe. Uh, I saw it in the store, I tried it on, I took a picture of it, sent it to my husband. I said, is this just silly and I should not purchase it? He said, no, I think it's actually kind of cool. And it was maybe $25. So this one was a little pricey compared to the others. And I have worn it a lot, mostly to work at Anthro through the holidays or out, you know, during the holidays. I didn't wear it much during the pandemic, but it's just fun. And I have not washed it or dry cleaned it because I haven't worn it enough to really have it show any dirt or any wear. Uh, so I'm not sure how it'll hold up after, you know, being dry cleaned or spot cleaned or whatever it might need, but it's kind of fun. Actually trying these on is making me excited um, for the colder weather because uh, I have some good coats, I think. This last one, there is one item in my wardrobe that I have gotten more compliments on than anything else I've ever owned. It is this coat. It is Wild Fable from Target. I wanted a coat like this after seeing someone in it. And the night I went in to look, 
they only had it in like a turquoise, pale, pale turquoise, mint green kind of turquoise. And it, it looked kind of like a Muppet. I, I tried it on and I thought, this is not the color I want. It feels kind of Muppet-like. And so then as I was going to hang that one back up in the men's department by a mirror in the men's department, someone had hung this up, obviously after trying it on and deciding against it. And it was also under $20. It was on sale at that point. I absolutely love this silly coat. It does not have any closures. Uh, it just is like a cardigan. It is super lightweight and way warmer than you might think for a furry synthetic, you know, silly coat. Uh, but it is actually quite warm and it's easy to shop in. And every single time I wear it, people stop me. Men, women, kids, people comment on how much they like this coat. Uh, and it, I get the point. Like, it feels kind of like a stuffed animal. It's, a, it's fun to wear. It's lightweight. I have traveled with it. It's fun to have, you know, on an airplane if it's chilly. It packs up easily. I usually, if I'm going to roll it up somewhere, I usually put it inside out so that the fur doesn't, you know, get dirty or yucky if I'm stuffing it uh, in an overhead bin on an airplane or something. Um, but that is my lineup of coats. And this is from someone who for decades did not really have a coat other than a puffer jacket that she didn't really love. And I finally decided to um, get a little on board with uh, being a stylist who lived in a climate where it's actually winter for a long time and people celebrate winter and colder weather and see what I could do. And so thrifting has really fleshed this collection out and, and staying true to what I really like. You know, these two are not mainstream. They're a little, I mean, yes, the teddy bear coat had a moment a few years ago and you know, this in camel would be beautiful and I'm not sure it would be better for my skin color. Camel sometimes washes me out. Uh, and so I'm glad that I took a chance on those two that are not my norm and they're not as practical and kind of traditional as a lot of my wardrobe because they're fun to wear. They're fun to wear even with jeans and loafers and you know a simple top like I have on today. And then the rest of these just make me happy when I have to get dressed and leave the house and it's cold out. And so I am going to stick with all of these this year. I'm going to try very hard not to thrift any more coats because I do not believe I need them. There is one Uniqlo coat that I always have my eye on. It is one of their really lightweight ultra down jackets. It's cropped and it, is, it snaps down the front and it's super packable. I think it even comes with a little pouch and it's just uh, a little bit quilted, it comes in a lot of different colors. And it actually has little snaps so that you can turn the collar under so that it would make it V-neck. And if you unsnap it, it makes it a crew neck. I have not found that I would, it, you almost wear it like a blazer. And usually I have on a sweater or a blazer and I need something that would go over that. The little slippery uh, Uniqlo down one that I'm speaking of would be great under a raincoat like this. It would be great under this longer cashmere coat if I were traveling to a city and needed an extra layer that didn't take up much space. So it's not that I couldn't utilize it. It's just that I've only ever seen them full price. I haven't found one great thrifted. I haven't wanted to spend the 80 or $90 on it. And every time I see a woman in it, I think, oh, I want that. Actually, my daughter bought me one for Christmas and I needed a larger size. And then when I tried on a larger size, it still wasn't large enough to put something under. It's more a jacket that you wear as a layer, I guess. Or like I said, if you live in a climate or in the time of year when it's not too cold, you could wear it just as your outerwear over a shirt, but that's not really how I utilize jackets. And I can be warm enough in just a sweater, in which case it would make that kind of irrelevant. So I haven't purchased that, but you might see that in, in a coming video if I decide, if I find one thrifted, it's coming home with me probably. Um, that's it for coats. How are you suited for coats? Do you live in a climate where you need to be, you know, collecting coats and creating a coat wardrobe? If you live somewhere where it's really rainy, then probably you need, you know, or wet snow, you probably need something that's more waterproof than something like this. Uh, tell me if you live somewhere, you know, where it's warm, or if you live in the Southern hemisphere where it's going to get warm now, uh, you know, then I'm kind of jealous because even though I'm loving my coat collection, I actually would always rather it be warmer and sunnier than colder. So that's it for now. I will be on Instagram on Tuesday at noon mountain time doing a live Q and A. If you have a question, hop over there and you can ask it in my DMs or in the question box I put up the day before. And I will be back here next Friday. If you have any questions about style therapy, let's hop on a call. Would love to help you one-on-one -on -one get your wardrobe struggles sorted so that you can love getting dressed. Have a great day. Thanks so much for being here.